They're very, very cool band, and um, and Mike actually the lead singer is the drummer, and he stands when he plays, and he so stands you, when he pees too. And you get to see it. <laughs> <laughs> he stands when he pees Don't. as well. It is time. This is Galaxy Reacts reacting to Jellyfish, the song New Mistake. You know I'm talking about Jellyfish. I'm going to stop just real quick because this audio does not sound good on this. No. Um, what what was that from? It's from a Battle of the Bands, it said, in 93. <laughs> it sounded better. Uh, I think just the regular track would probably be better. Battle that, of the Bands but. used to be like important did, affairs. I, I did want to... Um, <laughs> Here we go. Well, I did want to say his, his setup looks pretty interesting. He has yeah. like the, the long mic stand that's kind of getting to him. He's standing up playing drums. There's a drummer from... Um, Richmond, I think they're from. It's called Illiterate Light. That band and the drum sta the drummer stands in that band too. Oh. So, well, here's uh, the video. Yeah, let's watch that. Way better audio. I like that change. I'm on my roller skates. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is any way that castanetas? Yeah, castanets, yeah, I hear that. Castanetas. It reminds me so much of the shins. Kind of, yeah. I can hear some that the shins were influenced by Definitely. Jellyfish, um, especially the the way the vocal melody dances around. Right. Um, and I was I th I like the doo wop kind of thing. It's right. got like a, a doo wop thing going on, but then, um, and it rem uh, it reminds me of a band called uh, Dada a little bit. Yeah. Like that the delivery of the vocal and the songwriting has that. And I was thinking of something else too. Well, what did you, what did you think, EJ? Oh well, uh, they were always. Uh, I always kind of tried to explain them as like the perfect mesh between um, the Beatles, the Beach Boys, and Queen. I can hear the Beach Boys thing, and the other. And I was thinking Billy Joel a little bit too. I see some Billy Joel in there, yeah. Yeah, the Billy because the way that the the doo thing works with the, his delivery, it, it's very Billy Joel in this song. Or Elvis Costello, maybe. <laughs> the video is wild. It's all very smooth looking too. Yeah. And washed out. This part is like straight George Harrison. <laughs> that was cool. Or electric light orchestra a little bit. Yeah, yeah.
Super Tramp. Super Tramp, yep. That eat that electric piano is all all about that. Man. Yeah, it's about to be over, but the, the production quality always it was great. I love this. Uh, you hit the nail on the head when you said all the bands you were naming mm-hmm. because there's all these little moments. Yeah. And and I would say, like, each little moment reminds me of one of those bands. Right. But meshed all together yeah, at the same time. Exactly. It's like all stitched together. And then, Mike, you mentioned the Castanets thing earlier. Mm-hmm. I, I find that so interesting when uh, that reminds me of the Beach Boys, like because right. I feel like Beach Boys would do interesting um, textures and and parts like that, and it just seems like such a cool thing to figure out that sounds good in the song, like Definitely. like it's like Castanets that go tick, tick, and but then the drums go tick, tick, at the same time, right? So it has this orchestral effect to the song. That part. <laughs> Foreigner, maybe. Yeah, I can be Foreigner. Just a bunch of mismatches. I mean, I like bands. also how it really defines a point where the 70s, 80s became became the 90s. And this a band like this was like taking influence from all that, but also kind of going into the new Brit pop or Brit rock takeover kind of sounds like Oasis and Super, oh, yeah. Super Grass, um, bands like that. That came after this, I think. Yeah, they came after it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it was like it's kind of like the the milestone, like the mile marker of of all that, which is very cool to listen to. I totally totally agree. What do you think, Mike? I think that was a great pick, and it also says here that he's a songwriter for cartoons on Cartoon Network now. He is. That's the yeah. I'm glad you brought that up. Um, he became involved and started working with the Japanese pop duo Puffy Amiyumi. Uh, which they also have a cartoon, and he does the music for that. Um, and uh, he also now, basically what he's doing is writing for Disney and Cartoon Network, writing songs for the shows. Yeah, I think there's a couple of shows now that are that have a lot of music in them, and I can't think of the names, but there's one that's like something house. Um, I'd have to look it up. But anyways, that is really cool that he's still um, using his songwriting uh, skills. Yeah, and, uh, he uh, is Andy Sturmer is the guy's A- Andy name. Andy Sturmer. Um, yeah. And uh, what's really cool is there is, and I'll bring it in sometime and let you guys hear. It. Maybe we'll play it on here if I can find it uh, to be able to play. Mm-hmm. But it's this, they were huge in Japan. Um, and I got this Japanese import of theirs, and they had this great song that it was original by them, but it, it's singing about Super Mario Brothers. Hmm. But it's an original song, and if you heard that, you'd be like, "He should totally write movie scores." Right? Like he would, he could probably write something just as good as like you know, Nightmare Before Christmas. Like he has that like Danny Elfman, Danny Elfman yeah. kind of quality to his his uh, producing and everything. So it says awesome. here that he did the theme song for Teen Titans, oh, okay, and that he also did theme songs for Ben Ten. Batman, the Batman mm-hmm. animated series, and then also my friends Tigger and Pooh. He also did the theme song for Transformers Animated. So he's quite oh, prolific. Yeah, yeah in, that, in that realm, that's that's a lot of stuff. That's really cool. Um, but unfortunately, Jellyfish was no more. After, after 1994. That, that was it. They did two albums. And I, uh, I work at Guitar Center, and this one guitar uh, sales guy always mentions Jellyfish yeah. to me. They're, so it's kind of funny that you you brought it. If you should, every one of their songs is great. So like when you, it's like one of the, two of those albums were from beginning to end. Every song is wonderful, and especially that album, which is Spilt Milk. The, from beginning to end, it all kind of flows together. The production sounds very professional. Oh, it's and Tom Notch. Yeah, like like they he spent a lot of time and love um, creating that music. So. Yeah.
Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kai here with Galaxy Jams. I hope you enjoyed that React video. If you didn't know, we live stream a music improv show every single Tuesday, and we'd love to have you there. But if you want to hear what we sound like, just give us 30 seconds. <laughs> 